Just want to encourage you to be strong. God is still in control. I said, through it all, through it all, encourage yourself in the Lord. God is still in control. Despite all the wickedness, the deception. The lies, the pretense, and everything the enemy is up to to destroy you. Be strong and know that God, your God, your God that protected you from day one, he is still in control. The enemy will never win despite everything. All right? God bless you and thank you for joining us on this particular beautiful Wednesday evening. God bless you. I like grace upon your leggings. All right, like Japan, God bless you. Nikwe, God bless you. Hey, like Japan, Nikwe, God bless you. Mama Lizzie, can I celebrate you? God bless you. First lady Ramadan table I God bless you too. Modeling Esa, God bless you. What's in your mouth, If you have what in God bless you. Bridget Berry Mafia, no? Mami 
is our God bless you once again. Everybody in the free papa we now come and bow. Linda Kwati my son I mean who I'm who at your mission. Yeah, yeah, man the man. I saw Yami on him dear yeah man the mo. What's in a hoop na kunya so? Oh yeah, Juman Papa 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 Papa. Reverend Gloria Sapon, God bless you. Reverend Belinda Brown, my daughter, God bless you. Florence Benjamin, God bless you too. Grace Parker. Bennett. Bennis Akianelli Apostle Kenneth Tideku, servant of God. I feel you are blessed. I feel you are blessed. The enemy is in your camp to frustrate you. Despite it all, through it all, no one thing. You are blessed, and your blessing can never be stopped by a witch, by a devil, by a demon. Nobody can stop your blessing, all right? Nobody can bring you shame and disgrace to frustrate the blessings of God over your life. God is still in control. Francis Boatin, God bless you. Abana Isinam, God bless you too. This is Bishop Adontin Boatin in the house. If you have just joined us, can you please share the video? God bless you. I know you are facing a test, a challenge. But one thing I just want to tell you tonight is that God said he will never forsake you nor deny you. Your trial, your test is only but for a moment. But remember, God is still in control. Kwami Ousu Dakwa, God bless you. Kwami Ousu Dakwa, I like your profile picture. It's cool, bro. Marisa Striggles is in the house. God bless you. Thomas Digital, my God bless you.
Tama Digitalo Aji, my God bless you. What is Marisa Strigel saying tonight? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Thomas, you had an accident in Germany. Oh, my God. I pray that the Lord will protect you and bless you from all your fears. Abena Viva. We do a prayer line every night from 10.30 all the way to 12.30. And then every morning... Every morning from 10.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. I'll be so glad if you can join us on our prayer line every night and every day. We've done it for over 10 years now. Over 10 years we've been praying and praying and praying. It is just by the grace of God. We have never done, done this on our own because people try to shame us and to disgrace us through everything. But you know one thing? If the presence of God is with you, he sustains you through your trouble, through your challenges, and God has done it effectively. We're living, and we're living testimony unto our God that nobody will trust him, that God will ever shame or disappoint them. Ababa Emisa, my beloved daughter, Christ Jesus is with you. You will win, you will be declared a champion and a success in everything. Thing. All right, bye, Misa. God bless you. Woo! Abena Viva, God bless you. If you need any more information, let me know. I'll be a blessing. August a quarter. Kate Mensa. Everybody in the brief, Papa, we now come up. I want to talk about some of the regrets of our life. There are some regrets of our life sometimes we cannot take back. There are some things you can do in life you will regret later, but you can never take it back. Remember that. Today I want us to talk about that. Every night, every midnight from 12 a.m. New York time, our prayer line comes to you live on Facebook, live audio. And please, if you cannot join us on the prayer line, I will be so glad tonight that you join us on our, on our Facebook page at 12 midnight. And remember, we have an Instagram account. The Instagram account, the name on the Instagram account is Bishop Adon Tempwatin, as it's written on the screen. Please. Follow me on Instagram. you get more information there. God bless you. <laughs> Mr. Frank Quainu, God bless you. The one and only single man in town. Honorable Osei Esibe. Osei Esibe, I have some uh, prayer requests from you. Prayer requests from you that... A woman has a prayer request on your head. God bless you for joining us. Please share the video. God bless you. I'm feeling so happy. Get to see though. Then it's a young stupidest welcome to. Nikwe, somebody just said you're about to celebrate your birthday again. How many times you celebrate your birthday? Oh, God bless you. 
Sister, I men kasa sawate na onyagupon onim de yama ne mapa. David Vinci. God bless you, welcome. Oh, so I salute you. God bless you. Hey, life is full of unforeseen circumstances. Sometimes you might hope for the best. It might turn, turn out to be worst. Sometimes you can live your life doing the best, but the results might be bad. Nana be my God bless you. But you know if you're a believer, right? And your hope is in the Lord. When your steps are fumbled and you stumble, knowing that your trust is not in man, but your trust is in Jesus, you can fall and fall and fall and be disgraced in all manners of circumstances and be shamed and be shamed and be shamed again. But in the end, as long as Christ Jesus lives, God will make sure you are never disgraced at the end. So you know what? Let the enemies do their treachery, their wickedness, their undercover work and everything they're doing. At the end, you know who wins? God will win the battle for you. God bless you. Welcome once again to this edition of the Miracle Service. Today is Wednesday. God bless you. Nana Bema is in the house. Nana Bema, I know you're doing good. God bless you. Tell my daughter, I say hello. So how many times have you fallen? How many times has the story been bad? How many times have you been kicked out to be homeless? How many times has your enemies guarded and loved and said, we're waiting to see what comes to his end? Oh my God. As long as God is still is in control, hey! <laughs> Your disappointment will not last for too long. What? Is? The disgrace you are facing, it will not last for a long time. God is working on your behalf. The, the, the master architect, the master engineer, the master contractor is in control. Things are under control. In the end, all things work together for good. For those who love the Lord, I Vanessa John, God bless you. Marisa Striggles, can I salute you again? Marisa Striggles, God bless you. Can I salute my brother in the vineyard? Bishop Prince Amwa. Mary Day, God bless you. Hey, Mami Sewa, God bless you, my beloved sister and daughter. God bless you, Mami Sewa. Yo, 
ya ukumu na ya sain keke wate. Nyanku ponti ya si enti na. E insisi ya nku siye vye wate. Wani mungi ya si unsu. Unsu. E wani mungi ya siye mu. E manu nye siye wate. Adumbi da usu. E numu nyambi kata usu. Yesu ti ya si enti na. E bade ma wani mungi ya se da. Wangu na nuwaka sambone. O kristo ni. Ya wami suye wate. Na wanka sambone pia. Wani jose kopia pia si. Wangu na nuwaka sambone pia. Wani ajiri fobi kopia. I see you appreciating all my time and my love. You know what? If I don't love my God, there is no way I could have the strength to do this. But you know one thing? The fact that you are appreciating what I do, it encourages me to do more. Marisa Strigels, thank you. God bless you. I really, I really, really, really feel good for you celebrating and encouraging me for what I do. God bless you. Margaret of Osua. Nancy Dente, God bless you. I have a message I want to share with somebody. Please, if you're watching, kindly share the video. God bless you. God bless you. My daughter Erika Asarenyako, God bless you. I've been waiting for your call, sir. <laughs> Reverend Gloria Sapon, God bless you. I see if you are so big, you know what didn't want to know. Uncle Ponso, a man in the Mugia said that. What? Everyone, 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 everyone
Madam Kate Timbo, God bless you. Mama, 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 Please, if you're watching, I'm very glad you're watching, though. But you know one thing I want to do? Please, can you share the video? God bless you. And welcome once again. This is Bishop Adon Timbo. And it's Wednesday night, Wednesday evening. And I just want to say God bless everybody. Wherever you are, God bless you dearly for joining us. God bless you so much for being with us. I'm so proud of you that you've taken time out of your time to be here to worship with us. God bless you. This is Bishop Adon Timbo. Father... I pray in the name of Jesus that tonight, Lord, you will have your way and bless your people here. I pray that in the name of Jesus, anybody that is watching, Lord, they will be blessed at the words I share in your name. Cause me not to share words of my own wisdom. Lord, cause me to be a blessing unto many that are watching in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, cause everybody from far, from near, anywhere that anybody is watching the Lord, they will be blessed and be blessed mightily. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you, please. If you're watching, I just want to indulge you into one thing. Kindly please share the video and invite your family to join us. My cousin, my blood, my sister. God bless you, okay, for supporting me and for standing by me all the time. Esther, appear. Vega, appear. Esther, God bless you and God bless God's blessings also unto Nana Boateng and Juanita. Tell them I love them. Yao Klasu Yao. God bless you. Please, anybody that is not um, a Nigerian, if you're a Nigerian, if you're a Ghanaian, if you're a whoever, and your family is in South Africa, we got to pray for, for our brothers in South Africa because... The way people are being killed and being maimed and destroyed in South Africa is sad. Linda Kwating, welcome. The way people are being killed, Nigerians are being killed, Nigerians are being tortured and maimed in South Africa is very, 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 very sad. I don't know whether you have heard it, but I pray in the name of Jesus that uh, God's presence will fall upon South Africa. For them not to see their own black brothers, African brothers and sisters as animals to treat them anyhow. You know one thing in life? Whatsoever you do to somebody else, get ready. At some point, it shall be done back unto you. Whatsoever you wickedly do to another human being and think you, you are higher, you are better, so you don't care, you will do as you do as you do. One day either you are going to pay the price or children are going to pay the price. So for all the people that are in South Africa that are killing Nigerians and burning them and chopping them with cutlasses and knives, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will touch the heart of South Africans to, to, for, for them to stop killing innocent people. You know, it, it is sad. It is, it is very, very, very sad. I am praying that our brothers from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Sierra Leone and other places that travel to South Africa to look for greener pastures, God will open better doors for you. God bless everybody. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that is watching, God bless you. Welcome. Uh, last born. <laughs> Amina and Amponsa, God bless you. Esther Pia, once again, I love you. God bless you. I love you. Tell my niece and my nephew, I said, Uncle loves them best. God bless you. Please, can you share the video? God bless you. Welcome once again. Welcome again. Welcome again. God bless you. This is Bishop Adon Timboate in the house. Oh, 
All that I want to share with you tonight, that whatever pain, struggle, shame, frustration, tears, insomnia, and all manners of frustrations your life is going through, nothing evil is ever going to stay the same. A time is coming, you will look back, and the same thing that causes you to cry today, it is going to be the basis of your testimony. All right? God bless you. Welcome. Christiana Commodore. At I will not say Joyce Aden. Hey, my beautiful daughter is here. Kabuki Tete. Eram Makal Harris. God bless you. I pray that the presence of God shall be with you. God bless you. If you're watching, you're not smiling, then I don't know what you're up to today. Please put a smile on your face. I don't like the way your face is looking at all. Please, God bless you. God bless you. Can you just smile? I don't like the way your face is looking. Grah. Of course, you a child, you boy. God bless you. Welcome. Please share the video. Share the video. I have a message to share with you. God bless you. These days, men even wear wig. Men even wear wig. I'm saying so because maybe you haven't seen Nikwe today. Today, Nikwe is wearing a wig. Yeah, Nikwe. Oh, my love, thank you for sharing what God bless you. I know you're supporting me and you are here to promote the work that I do. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Kabuki Tete, God bless you once again. Enka Oda, what's it? God bless you. I like the smile on your faces now. I like that. Hey, we only have a short time to live. Don't allow anybody whatsoever, any devil, demon, witch, any hater to put your spirit down. All right? If nobody loves you and people don't care, I want to tell you something. You have a God, a God who cares and he loves you. And the love of God is not pretense. The love of God is not faking. The love of God is not under carpet, underneath here and there. Genuine, faithfulness, loyalty, true love from God. Right? So please, smile. 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 Nikwe Nanama Yebua say you are from Bubuashi. Why are you wearing a wig today? God bless you. Share the video. Nyanku Poncha. Ati. 
God bless you for the smiles on your face. God bless you too. The Bible to first Samuel 9. I don't know why I'm feeling so happy. I, you know, I'm happy. I can see from your faces you're just beaming with smiles and joy. This is all that I need just some laughter, some fun, and some friendship. I right? God bless you. Welcome. Please, can you share the video, please? If you don't share, then I don't know what you're here for. Share, aye? Mabuli Gakoba. Mabuli, where have you been? Slide. <laughs> Hey, Vivian, God bless you. And the enemy, God bless you too. Me Jesus no Mama Jesus on Kasama what? Eja Eric Bafu, Papa, and your beautiful wife. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I love you. God bless you. My heart, I am praying deep for you. Mr. Eric Wafo and your wife. God bless you. Great man, son. Welcome. God bless you. Welcome back from Ghana. Man, Pablo, I need to see you come. I need to join you. Be a wasro and kasa. Nemo akuma and toy. I'm ne ya abre wonsu. Mister Bafu, I got your back. I love you. Mawuli. God bless you. I know you're fine. I've been praying for you. Esther Yebua. Amama Kuma Tomiyam. Loyal Penny Nova 
Oh, I'm going to It's a very And no, no, Marisa, wa Dorcas, God bless you. Madam Grace of Faith. Madam Grace of Faith, I believe this year we must give you an award. Anything I share, this lady, she will share it. And she will make sure she writes even more. And share. And share. Madam Grace of Faith, I salute you, okay? Internationally acclaimed. Share. I celebrate you. God bless you. Nana Maru Emmanuel Cote Atame O Gamine Mama Kuma Tommy Florence Mesa God bless you Mama Kuma Ebia no bon some one tidia me can me say or how woo a suo and a mugia see what time a yao Amanie e kom are wo o hia ni a wocha o nemu no enka hodo nyesi a nebe yo watamfu ni usu sa o oboni fo no ne nyuma a o se suma si edie no enyesi an ko si ebie yo se yesu ti asi ente no wo soro obekasa ma wate Rebecca, can I celebrate you too for sharing? My boy, yo, brother, I celebrate you. God bless you. Please, can you share the video? God bless you. This is Bishop Kofi Adon Tembuaten. Apostle Kwame Major Opoku, servant of God, I salute you, Mitu Michemao. I celebrate you, I salute you, servant of God, God bless you. I will be coming to London in September, September 24th. I will be in London until the 29th of September. I will be there for six days. 333 Romford Road. You can quant as well, baby. Grace, take the Bible to first Samuel nine verse two. The regrets of our life. Florence Mensa, God bless you for telling them to share. I cannot tell God bless you too. Lydia Isian, Maria Note. Messa, Egina, Mina, Mienuso. Sicily and Piabo, so welcome. God bless you. Nancy Grace, hear me voice training, my master. No Becasa, Mama Kuma, Tommy. Oh, how they pray, baby, I would be the woman so be around for no. Me, I'm in no 
Vanessa Jan, get ready. I'm coming to 333 Romford Road, United Kingdom, September 24th to the 29th. Six days of supernatural power. <laughs> Sicilian Pia Bocio Sicilian Pia Bocio Sicilian Pia Bocio Sicilian Pia Bocio Pia Catching so your dad that focus feeling. Sing a mid sea sentinel was through over Casamo at it. God bless you. Before I go further, Father, thank you and I bless your name once again. That Jesus is by your will that we live and we live to celebrate you. We are all sinners. We come before you repenting from our wicked and our treacherous ways. That Father, you might forgive us, bring us under your throne, and cause your name to manifest greatness, blessings in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I, I want to share something with you. Eh? I pray that you will listen from a very good heart. And you'll be very blessed. Lillian Yachi, God bless you. We all have opportunities in life to do good god has given every man your will to you to do good or bad uh christianity doesn't limit eugenia sorry god bless you christian doesn't limit or hold anybody from doing good or bad everybody will live by our choices mm -hmm. you can choose to live as a very good man or a very bad man you can choose to be a very good woman or a very bad woman you can choose to be a very good wife or a bad wife you can choose to be a very good husband or very bad husband you can choose to be a very good son or a very bad son you can choose to be a very bad daughter or a very 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 good daughter life christianity doesn't limit anybody unlike some other religions as to what you want to do is your choice you choose to do good or you choose to do evil. It's your own choice. But it is generally believed that at the end of life, at some point, everybody is going to face your own judgment. Somebody is a murderer. They have never been caught. They've been going about and killing people. Nick, give me that sound. They've been going about and killing people. Nobody sees them. They are very smart. They are very clever. They will kill anybody they want to kill. The same way. Somebody is doing a lot of good things out there. Nobody sees them. Nobody knows the good they do. But they diligently do the good. At the end. At some point. When we, nobody is going to live on this earth forever. The good you do. Is a seed you are sowing. And the wickedness or the evil you secretly do also. Is a seed. Anytime a man plants a seed, good or bad, at some point, you are going to harvest your good fruits or your bad fruits. Every, every good you do in life is a seed. And every evil, every wickedness you do in life is also a seed. Some of the seed we are enjoying today out of the abundance of our parents, and our family is why we're benefiting because maybe my mother did good. I don't even know. My father might have done good. I don't even know. But at some point, because of some good seed somebody sown today, I am a living testimony unto God that I am blessed. In the same way, I could also be a very cursed man because of something my mother did. Who says she doesn't care? Or something my father did. Who says she doesn't care? Life is not about you alone. I am a single man sitting here. I am a one man. Some things I do. Some things I do today. Even though I'm sitting here as a, a one man. A single one person sitting here. 
Something I do can affect a whole generation of people that I don't even know where they are coming from. But they will come and walk through my blood. They will come and walk through my DNA. They will come and walk through my address. And if I show good seed, those that are coming in generations after me, they will be blessed. Just like God blessed Abraham and told Abraham, Abraham, I have blessed you. Your children will be blessed. Your children will be like the, 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 the sun of the sea. They shall be like the stars in the skies. God said, your name shall be great and your children's name shall be great. What is God saying? Abraham, because you are blessed, anybody that comes through Abraham, you will be blessed to Abraham. In the same way, if Abraham is cursed through any evil or wickedness or through any bad thing Abraham will do, anybody that will also come after Abraham, the same curse that followed Abraham is going to affect you. That is life. So you cannot live life and make it seem as if life is just about you. Linda Mwakumusu, oh my God, I've been praying that the Lord will bring you back. Linda Mwakumusu, Ghana, I've been praying and praying. I said, where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Today you are here. Welcome. I'm so proud of you. God bless you. Pa. God bless you, Linda Mwakumusu. God bless you. Now the family is full. I went to Canada, I went to Florida, so sometimes the work is a lot, but I have to do it all. So wherever you are, support, always support me in prayer. I wish I would always be with you, but sometimes I cannot be at two places at the same time. But I love what I do, and I'm enjoying myself doing what I do, even in pain and in agony. I'm still celebrating Jesus because had it not been for God, I would have been a dead man a long time ago. I live by his grace and I celebrate the grace. I celebrate mightily the grace God has given me. God bless you. Linda, thank you once again. Please, if you are watching, can you please share this video? I'll be so glad if you share. God bless you. Okay. Nick, are you listening? And don't sleep. Grace, you, you are not sleeping. God bless you. Uh -huh. If anybody sleeping in the studio, yeah, wake him up and tell him, yo, listen, anyana better. Thank you. So life, every good thing we do, whether you do good or you do bad, there is always a benefit at the end of life or there is going to be a pain at the end of life. So we are get rid of quiet and God bless you. We are all being encouraged every day to do good. We are humans. No human being can ever claim that I'm perfect. If anybody tells you they are perfect, please don't argue with them, but know from there that they are hypocrites. If somebody says, hey, you guys are sinners and you guys are sinners and sinners, please, if you go through, if you secretly take your time and you observe them, they are even, they might be worse than you, I'm telling you. Mami Ekuya Anderson Bailey. God bless you, Joyce Jumo. God bless you. Nikwe, they say you should wake up. Wake up. Stop sleeping here. Wake up. Please, if you have joined us, share the video. God bless you. So in life, every good you do, when you do good, good will meet you somewhere and you will benefit from good. There are certain bad things people have done. They have regretted, but they never got the chance to make it up for the regrets they have. So if you have any chance to do good, do it now. Some people are so wicked and evil and they feel they can always be evil because they are so smart, they are so clever, they are so wicked. Me, I can pass him, I can pass her, I will do this. Hey, if you are anybody like that, time is ticking on you like a time bomb. Your repentance is today, your change is today. Otherwise, God is bringing you shame or disgrace. Augustine Edupoku, God bless you. Grace, take the Bible to 1 Samuel 9. Start from verse 2 quickly, okay? It's a lot of scriptures. 1 Samuel 9 verse 2. Yes, I like your voice. Put more fire. Comfort. Comfort. God bless you. Welcome. Go ahead. Kish had a son named Saul. There is a man called Kish. Who had a son? A common, normal boy called Saul. Go ahead. As handsome a young man as could be. Found oh my God! The boy was so, the, according to the Bible. The boy was so handsome, tall, 
broad chested. When they, they, they say there's, there's a saying that when they say a man is broad chested, it means that his shoulders are high. Not like Nico, your shoulder is not broad, so stop laughing. <laughs> when a man is described as broad shoulders, it means that if you look at his shoulders, it's wide. Macho, macho, you know, broad chested. So, there's a man called Kish. He had a son, very handsome, very beautiful, very nice boy. His name was called Saul. Handsome young man. Grace, continue. And he was a head taller than anyone else. Oh my God. Apart from the fact that the guy is handsome, the Bible said he was taller than everybody. Beautiful. This one is what when the women that are flirtatious, when they see them, you see their eyes going plak, 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 like that. Oh my God. The Bible says Saul was so handsome, tall, broad chested, macho. He has a dimple, dimple. The dimple was not in his cheeks, but the dimple was underneath his abodje. The guy was so handsome. Go ahead, get this. Now the donkeys belonging to Saul's father Kish were lost. One day something happened. Everybody listen to me. One day something just happened. Mr. Kish, Saul's father, came complaining that my donkeys are lost. All my donkeys, they are all lost. All my donkeys are lost. He was complaining. Go ahead, my daughter. And Kish said to his son Saul, take one of the servants with you and go and look for the donkeys. This means that Kish is a rich man. He has servant. Juliana Selenian, Baba Koma and Selby, welcome all of you. Listen, Saul's father, Kish, was a rich man. He told his son, take one of the servants from the house. Take one of the servants from the house to go and look for the donkeys. If the parents were poor, he would have been sent alone. But he was told to go and get a servant to go and look for the donkeys. Hurry up, go ahead. So he passed through the hill country of Ephraim and through the area around Shalisha. He was looking for his father's donkeys. Go ahead. But they did not find them. As much as they tried and tried and tried, he went looking for a donkey. He couldn't find a donkey. Go ahead. They went on into the district of Shalim, mm -hmm. but the donkeys were not there. Mm -hmm. Then he passed through the territory of Benjamin, but they did not find them. When they reached the district of Zuf, Saul said to the servant who was with him, Come, let's go back, or my father will stop thinking about the donkeys and start worrying about us. But the servant replied, Look, in this town there is a man of God. There is a prophet in this town. He said there is a prophet in the house. Olivia, God bless you too. Saul's servant told the Saul, Yo, we have come too far. There is a prophet in this town. Wherever the donkeys are lost, let's go see him. He will show us where the donkeys are. Go ahead. He is highly respected and everything he says come true. Oh my God. He is a very powerful guy. Go ahead. Let's go there now. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he will tell us what way to take. Mm -hmm. Saul said to his servant, If we go, what can we give the man? The food in our sacks is gone. We have no gift to take to the man of God. What do we have? The servant answered him again. Look, he said, I have a quarter of a shekel of silver. I will give it to the man of God so that he will tell us what way to take. Mm. Formerly in Israel, if someone went to inquire of God, they would say, Come, let us go to the seer, because the prophet of today used to be called a seer. Mm. Go ahead. Good. Saul so said to the servant, Come, let's go. So they set out for the town where the man of God was. As they were going up the hill to the town, they met some young women coming out to draw water. Mm -hmm. And they asked them, Is the seer here? He is, they answered. He's ahead of you. Hurry now. He has just come to our town today, for the people have a sacrifice at the high place. Mm -hmm. As soon as you enter the town, you will find him before he goes up to the high place to eat. The people will not begin eating, eating until he comes, mm -hmm. because he must bless the sacrifice afterward. Oh man, this thing that is powerful. Why? Those who are invited will eat. Go up now. You should find him about this time. Mm -hmm. They went up to the town, and as they were entering it, there was Samuel. 
coming toward them on his way up to the high place. This is the prophet they go looking for. While they were entering town, they met the prophet. Go ahead. Now the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed this to Samuel. About this time tomorrow, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin. Anoint him ruler over my people, ah, Israel. The guy came looking for a donkey that is lost. Mm -hmm. Grace, listen. Nick, are you listening? Please, you on Facebook, are you listening? You on listening, are you listening? The guy came looking for a donkey that is lost. God had given the prophet a message. At the same time tomorrow, I'll bring somebody around here, anoint him to make him king over Israel. Meaning that the boy was an ordinary boy. He was just a regular guy. God said, just anoint him and make him great as king over the entire nation of Israel. That is not, there's a lot of messages in this, but I'm not ready for that. Grace, go ahead. Anoint him ruler over my people Israel. Mm -hmm. He will deliver them from the hand of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. I have looked on my people, mm -hmm. but their cry has reached me. Oh my God, God is so merciful. Grace, now leave all this is far. Go to First Samuel 10 from verse 1. First Samuel 10 from verse 1. First Samuel 10 verse 1. Then Samuel took a flax of oil, olive oil and poured it on Saul. He head. anointed that, that boy. That boy that came looking for a donkey. So the, the prophet Samuel poured oil on him. Go ahead. Then Samuel took a flax of oil, olive oil and poured it on Saul's head and mm -hmm. kissed him saying, has not the Lord anointed you? Really now you have been anointed a king. Somebody ordinary who came looking for a donkey. God had his own plans for him. All of a sudden, from ordinary to a super ordinary individual. From mediocrity. Now this man has become so great. He is going to be the ruler. The king. The first ever king of the entire nation of Israel. A common man looking for a donkey has just been made a super star. Oh my God. Grace, go ahead. When you leave me today, mm -hmm. we will meet two men near Rachel's tomb. At Zelza on the border of Benjamin, mm -hmm. they will say to you, the donkeys you set out to look for have been found. Listen, then the prophet said, as I have anointed you and blessed you, what you came looking for, the donkeys you came looking for, don't worry about it anymore. God has taken care of it. All the donkeys are found. Go ahead. And now your father has stopped think thinking about them and is worried about you. Now, whatever you came, your father was worried about is taking care of. Now your father is even worried about you. Go, Grace, go ahead. I'm making he, a point. He is asking, what shall I do about my son? Go ahead. Then you will go on from there until you reach the great tree of Tabor. Mm -hmm. Three men going up to worship God at Beth Bethel will mm -hmm. meet you there. One will be carrying three young goats, another three loaves of bread, and another a skin of wine. They will greet you and offer you two loaves of bread. Hey, this common man, now people will see him and greet him, salute him. Mm -hmm. People who used to call him, see him and say, hey, who are you, who are you? They are now going to see him and salute him. This is what the grace of God can do. A common man, an ordinary man, all of us, everybody say, Nikwe, Papa, 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 Mama, Mommy. Hey, all of us, I do know. This common man has become a star. Why? Because God's grace has landed upon him. And then the, the prophet also said, people you don't know from anywhere, they are carrying bread. Goat. Goat meat. That's the meat I love most. They will give it to you. You know what he's saying? Because of the anointing and who you are now and the grace that is upon you, you are going to receive favor. Grace, go ahead. They will greet you and offer you two loaves of bread, mm -hmm. which you will accept from them. Yeah. After that, you will go to Gebiah of God, where, the, where there is a Philistine outpost. As you approach the town, you will meet a procession of prophets coming down let, from let, the let high Let me salute someone. Ebenezer, Jari. Ebenezer, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ebenezer, Ejari. God bless you. Go ahead. As you approach the town... You will meet a procession of prophets coming down from the high place with lyres, mm -hmm. timbrels, pipes, and harps mm -hmm. being played before them, and they will be prophesying. The Spirit of the Lord will come powerfully upon you, and you will prophesy with them. Ah, the man is not a prophet. All of a sudden, because the Spirit of God has come upon him, the man is going, meaning that everything a man will ever pray for, a man will ever dream about, 
God said, just because you have been anointed king, somebody who was just going about just to look for, for, for a donkey, all of a sudden, he is so blessed, he is so graced, that everything that anybody will pray for you, going to have it free. Free. Who don't want this? God has blessed them. Just from mediocrity to become a superstar. From poverty to prosperity. From zero, he has been lifted to become a hero. From nobody, all of a sudden, Saul has become a superstar. Why? Because a prophet anointed him king over Israel. If you are coming from nowhere, Somebody like me, I come from a very, 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 very poor family. I will never stop saying it because I don't want to brag. I don't want to pretend to. I come from a very, extremely absolute poor family. And I will never forget this. Saul so, was a nobody. Now, all of a sudden, he is the star, the king. Of the entire nation of Israel. Grace. Now take the Bible to 1 Samuel 15. 1 5. Verse number. From verse 1. Go ahead. 1 Samuel 15 verse 1. Samuel said to Saul. I am the one the Lord sent to anoint The prophet you. came. And was reminding Saul. Don't forget where you are coming from. Don't forget who you were. Don't forget what you used to go through looking for donkeys. The prophet Samuel came back to Saul after many years and said, I am the one. Some of you, you get to certain places in life and you forget where you are coming from. You behave as if you, you, you've been sleeping on a waterbed. Some of us, we, life becomes better for us and we forget, we behave as if all my life I have been sleeping on waterbed. Usuketana now that's Go ahead, Grace. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one the Lord sent to anoint you king over his people Israel. So listen now to the message from the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Mm -hmm. I will punish the Amal Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they were waylaid, that when they waylaid them as they came up from Egypt. Mm -hmm. Now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. One thing God never likes is somebody that is disobedient. So the prophet told Mason, This is the word of God. Go. God said, Go and destroy. Don't touch anything. Don't take anything. Just be obedient. Be respectful. Remember, before he was told all this, he was reminded who he who he was, where he was, where he came from, so that he might not forget. The prophet said, hey, hey, remember. This same man standing here, now you are a king. People are calling you king. Remember, I am the one. Whoever today, your mother, that your mother you are insulting. Because your mother is uneducated. That your father you are looking down upon. That pastor who prayed for you today, you are insulting. He said, remember, I am the one the Lord used to make you who you are. Grace, go ahead. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. So Saul summoned the men and, ma and mastered them at Talim. 200,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 from Judah. Saul went to the city of Amalek and set an ambush in the ravine. Then he said to the Canaanites, Go away. Leave the Amalekites so that I do not destroy you along with them. For you, showcased, for you showed kindness to all the Israelites when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites moved away from the Amalekites. Then Saul attacked the Amalekites all the way from Havilah to Shore, near the east, eastern border of Egypt. He took Agakin of the Amalekites alive and all his people. He was told to kill him. He was told to ki kill the king. But now he is a king. But Grace, before this man will go to this battle, he was warned and reminded 
that remember whoever you have become today. So, remember the prophet Samuel was the one who anointed you king over Israel. What is he saying? Obey me. Respect me. Respect. If you have nothing to give to anybody at all, respect your madam, respect your father, and respect anybody that is on top of you. Respect the person. No matter how rude, arrogant, disrespectful, mean you can be, anybody that is above you, respect the person. But Samuel was never respected by King Saul. Now he's a king. How dare you? Grace, go ahead. He took Agag, king of the Amalekites, alive, and all his people he totally destroyed with the sword. But Saul and the, and the army spared Agag and the best of the sheep and cattle, the fat cows and lambs, everything that was good. These, these they, they were unwilling to destroy completely. But they were told to destroy them. They were told not to touch them. Don't do that. The, how far you have come, there are certain things you shouldn't do. Nikwe, last time you were somewhere, nobody knew you. Today, Nikwe, uh, Elijah Bunny, Nikwe, people have come to know you. There are certain things people don't expect you to do. There are certain things people don't expect you because if you disgrace yourself, you are disgracing your father, I don't think what. And if you disgrace your father, don't think what you are disgracing my God through whom Nikwe the Lord has made you who you are. So you must respect me to respect my God. The day you disrespect, you are disrespecting my God. But so, so disobedient, so rude, so arrogant, so selfish, he was told not to go touch anything from the place. But he went looking for sheep, for cows. Grace, go ahead, hurry up. These they were unwilling to destroy completely. But everything that was despised and weak, they totally destroyed. Everything that was weak or despised. But anything that is special, they grabbed it. You know what they're saying? Greed. Greed. Go ahead, though. Then the word of the Lord came to Samuel. Mm -hmm. I regret that I have made... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Grace, hold on. You remember how First Samuel 10... The prophet was so excited to prophesy favor, mm -hmm. good, prophecy, this, this, this. God is telling the prophet, I regret for making this man a king. Yo, what am I telling you? Whoever you are, whoever you are, you can never take the grace of God for granted. Nope. Raining and our thank you. God bless you. Winifred Tim Cran, God bless you. Loveless writer, God bless you. Whoever you are, don't think you have you have come to a place where you, you are untouchable. You are funny. Never live your life to think you have come to a place where you, you are untouchable. You are above others. You are better than others. Who you? Who you? Lucian Infant. God bless you. Kate Timbo. God bless you. So, began to feel that he was better than everybody else. He refused to obey. The same prophet who prophesied to him and made him a king. He disobeyed him. The day Saul disobeyed the prophet Samuel, he disobeyed Samuel's God. Our Lord, our God Almighty. Apostle David Amwa. Good way, Apostolic Church. Servant of God. I salute you. And my respect and love to your wife and all the church members. God bless you dearly. Man of God, I really honor you and I salute you, Papa, 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 for all your service to God. Amen. Saul was not humble. Saul was not obedient. Please, never ever feel that the grace you are receiving, the grace you are enjoying, is forever. Grace is free, but it's not free like that. Grace is free. So many people take the grace of God for granted. And when you are a normal person and grace comes upon you, the grace comes upon you to make you supernary. The day the grace begins to withdraw from you, your, your even old ordinary self, you don't even get it. Mary Garnet, God bless you. Grace, read that part again. What did the prophet say to him? 
I regret that I have made Saul king. Oh my God, but it was God who chose him. It was God who blessed him. It was God who lifted him. It was God who selected him. But he, listen to the words of God. The same God that chose that man, the same God that chose that woman, based on your character, based on your deeds, based on our deeds to disrespect and to insult the integrity of God. God said, I regret for making Saul king over Israel. All of us need to go back on our knees and repent in so many ways because have you made any decision? Have you taken any step to insult God? Have you? Efia de Pasari. God bless you, Efia. Thank you. God bless you. Have you and I taken any step, made any move only to insult our God? It's not good. Grace, we are enjoying grace. Mama, I am alive because of the grace of God. Yes. I am who I am because of the grace of God. One thing I can never take for granted is the grace that is upon me. As foolish as I might be, one thing I can never take for granted because when God, when God withdraws his grace from you, Mama, you are going to be more or less. One thing David feared, David feared diligently he feared was that despite his wrongs and sin God should never withdraw his grace from him because he saw what happened to Saul. So many Christians, so many men of God, so many women of God, they don't respect God because they're taking God's grace for granted. Go ahead, my daughter. I regret that I have made Saul king because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instructions. He has been disloyal. He has been unfaithful. He has been disloyal and unfaithful. God said, I regret for making him king over Israel. Go ahead. Samuel was angry and he cried out to the Lord all that night. Millicent, I'm watching. Mama, God bless you. The prophet was angry. And the Bible said he cried. One thing you should, the Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The fact that the prophet was crying all night was alone a judgment that is coming upon King Saul. The fact that Saul's attitude and character caused this prophet to cry all night was a judgment. I'm not surprised when Saul died, his son, Jonathan also died. When Saul died, Everybody in the family also died. Why? Because of disobedience. Because he insulted the grace. He took the grace of God for granted. We should not do that. We should not do that. Please, if you're listening to me or watching, and you have done anything to take the grace of God for granted, you are in church and you are stealing offering. You know what you are saying? There is no God. You are in church and you are stealing offering. You are part of the leadership of the church and you are sleeping with every woman in the church. You are saying there's no God. You are flirting around in the church. You are saying there's no God. Either you die or God will bring you shame. Once you challenge the grace of God, he will prove to you there is a God that is bigger than you. If you challenge God, he will prove to you there is a God that is bigger than you. Mama Melisenta, I'm watching. God bless you. If you challenge God, he will prove, even though you might have skirmishes and tricks and ways, it will only last for a short time. God said, I regret for making Saul a king. All of us must be careful. And if you're listening, and this is about you, it's a warning, a pre-warning for you to wake up. That I might also wake up. Time is not on our side. Grace, continue. Early in the morning, Samuel got up and went to meet Saul. But he was told, Saul has gone to Carmel. There he has set up a, a monument in his own honor. You know what he has done? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> now he's a king. <laughs> he has built a big statue like Saddam Hussein one. A big statue in town with his image. He has a sword, King Saul. He went there. Because life is free. Go ahead. Saul has gone to Carmel. There he has set up a monument in his own honor and has turned and gone on down to Gil Gilgal, mm -hmm. 
When Samuel reached him, Saul said, The Lord bless you. I have carried out the Lord's instructions. You see pretense. <laughs> you see fake. Wow. And pretense. <laughs> he did not carry out the assignment of God. But when he met the prophet, he began to lie. Oh, God bless you. my That is why if you are a pastor and you trust people who are blowing tongues all the time, Masa, some demon will attack you. When he met the prophet, he began to show respect to the prophet and say, Oh, my master, God bless you. I have carried it out. The 20 bishop went. Go ahead. But Samuel said, mm -hmm. What then is this bleating of sheep in my ears? What is this lowing of cattle that I hear? It meaning that the sheep he brought and the cattle he brought, the prophet is saying that you are saying you have done it. Mm -hmm. But you are not your secret. All the things you are doing secretly, I know. That's what the prophet is saying. You are telling me you have finished it, but I know the secrets you have. Go ahead. Saul answered, the soldiers brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle. and throw. Akoshie and throw. He's also going to lie. Anytime you lie once, you have to continue to lie, 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 lie. So there's no need to lie. Susie Frimpon, God bless you. And Marie, God bless you. You don't need to lie. The moment you start a lie, you have to lie and lie and lie and lie to make the lie a lie. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Today, Christians, we're living in hypocrisy. You know why? Because all of us have become liars. We lie. And some even cry to prove that their lie is lying. People lie and they can cry, shout, shout to tell you that they are lying. They are lying truth. But mama, in life, every seed you sown in life, at some point, you will harvest your wickedness. You will harvest your deception. You will harvest your, your criminal and your wicked and your evil character. If you don't repent now, a time is coming. You will look back. You will wish that you can make corrections. Maybe sometimes it will be too late. By the aqua, God bless you. Grace, go ahead. Hurry up. Saul answered, the soldiers brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. But we totally destroyed the rest. Enough, Samuel said to Saul. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Prophet, prophesy. Go ahead. Saul replied. Mm -hmm. Samuel said, although you were once small in your own eyes, did you not become the head of the tribe hey, of Israel? Listen to what God is telling him. Saul, you were once a small man. Oh. You were once an ordinary person. Oh. You are who you are now because you are you are wiser. You are better. You are better. You are beautiful. You are handsome, or you are any better than anybody because once you were just an ordinary common man or woman. But you know what? The grace of God has made you somebody. Why are we forgetting that, Mama? You before you came to America, remember you used to go to school in the afternoons. I told. Now America has helped you. You are a nurse. And you are insulting people to be illiterate. Rookie, rookie. God bless you. Don't forget where you're coming from. Once you were a small man. Once you were just a common girl, a common woman. Nothing. There is nothing about you that says you are, you are better than Nikwe. There is nothing about you that makes you better than my daughter Gracie in here. Nothing. She has life, you have life. If it's for beauty, my daughter, she knows how to do it by makeup. You even recognize her. Today, there's nothing like beauty. It's makeup. Yes, and surgery. And surgery. That's what she just said. People do surgery and you see them you think it's something, my friend. Injection. Botox. Botox on the bottles. But mama, papa, David said when I was young, I used to think like a child. When I was young, I used to reason and think like a child. As you grow in life, your reasoning, your behavior must show to people that you are matured. Otherwise, people will call you a fool. Some of the things you used to do 10 years ago, 
People said you are a young man. You are a young girl. Now if you do them, they will call you a witch. They will call you a wizard. They will call you a devil. People will call you a criminal. Grace, continue for me. First Samuel 15, verse, where are you now? I'm at 18. Loretta King, I love you. God bless you. Go ahead. Samuel said, mm -hmm. Although you were once small in your own eyes, did you not become the head of the tribes of Israel? Mm -hmm. The Lord anointed you king over Israel, and he sent you on a mission saying, Go and completely destroy those wicked people, the Amalekites, Wage war against them until you have wiped them out. Mm -hmm. Why did you not obey the Lord? Why did you pounce on the plunder and do evil in the eyes of the Lord? Mm -hmm. But I did ob obey the Lord. He lied, he <laughs> lied again. Richard Manson, Google, God bless you. He lied again. But I did. Once you tell one lie, you have to continue and lie and lie and lie. And you, sometimes you are lying. You don't know people even know you are lying because you think you are lying. They are fools. Let me tell you something. Th unless, they are f unless the person is a fool, once you say one thing and you are lying, sometimes you forget yourself. You add a little bit more cream. Mm -hmm. And they figure you out. Yes. Ah, my daughter, my sister, my friend. Oh, Go ahead. But I did obey the Lord, Saul said. I went on the mission the Lord assigned me. I completely destroyed the Amalekites and brought back Agag their kin. The soldiers took sheep and cattle from the plunder, the best of what was devoted to God, and in order to sacrifice them to the Lord your God at Gilgal. Mm -hmm. But Samuel replied, mm -hmm. Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To, to obey is better than sacrifice. Go ahead. And to heed is better than the fat of rams. Mm -hmm. For rebellion is like the sin of divination. Rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft sin. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. As one thing. Disobedience. Is a sign of witchcraft sin. Disobedience. Rebellion. Rebellion. Is a sign of witchcraft sin. Grace, just leave them go to first Samuel 16. Start from verse 1. Something God said about this guy. You see, what, what is sad is the prophet lives. Instead of him to obey the prophet and enjoy this prophet, fancy up here, God bless you. Daniel Linti, God bless you. Oh, for you are Madam God bless you for you. God bless you. Instead of him to enjoy the voice of God through the prophet, she took the prophet for granted. She never respected the prophet because after all, now he is a king. So listen to what God said to the prophet about him. First Samuel 16 verse 1. Go ahead. First Samuel 16 verse 1. Mm -hmm. The Lord said to Samuel, mm -hmm. How long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king? Even though he is still a king, God said I have rejected him. So you can be a pastor, you are rejected. You can be a husband, you are rejected. You can be a wife, you are rejected. You can still be a manager, but you are rejected. You can still be a rich man, but you are rejected. You can still be a rich woman, you are rejected. God said, how long will you worry yourself over us all? I have rejected them. For you, I'm, I'm down, God bless you. Grace Max. Lena Mwakusu, God bless you. Nikwe Lena Mwakusu says she's in Alexander today. Yes, she just came from Ghana. Please, Nikwe said he will come and look for you. 
grace of faith, God bless you. And I'm going to please send us um, your phone number in Messenger. Nika will contact you today. He's bringing you food. If you say, I'm sure I'm going to say, and then I assume the Bama, we can't fault your sin and be. song you listen the song just said hey it was night time but there's day time time has changed if you're sleeping wake up if you've been sleeping it is no longer night get up wake up if you feel you've been sleeping anywhere please don't sleep no more wake up there's no time to sleep there's no time to sleep. Please, if you're sleeping, wake up. You have today. Tomorrow is not guaranteed for nobody. If you're sleeping, wake up. You might be the richest person, the biggest person, the best prophet, the best bishop, the best husband, the best wife. But you know one thing. It's not guaranteed. Whatever you have, based on how you appreciate it and how you respect it, it stays long and it stays forever for you. King Saul, very disobedient, arrogant, deceptive, and a pretender. He could lie and lie to God. He never respected a prophet through whom God's grace came upon him. After all, my father is rich. After all, I am the king of Israel. After all, I am better than everybody. After all, I am handsome than everybody. After all, I am beautiful than everybody. After all, nobody can be compared unto me. My dear, my sister, my brother, if you are thinking like this, if yesterday was night, today is daytime, stop sleeping, wake up. Stop sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Because you have the chance now. Tomorrow might not be for you. First Samuel 28. Grace, let me finish this. First Samuel 28. Start from verse 2 or 3. I think verse 3. First Samuel 28. Verse number 3. Now listen. The prophet who has been warning and talking to him, the prophet is dead. Now, there is a war that is coming. In the past, if Saul has to go to war, God will talk through the prophet and the prophet will come and advise him. Do this. Don't go here. Do this. Don't go here. Don't go there. But now the prophet is dead. There is something in your life you are taking for granted. But sometime to come, you will turn around and look for it, but it will not be for you. There is something, your father, your wife, your husband, your children. Nikwe, Grace, Mami Lizzie, somebody around here, I might be taken for granted. But one thing is, Grace, sometime to come, your father, when I call you, tell you tell your daddy, daddy, I'm going somewhere with my husband, I'm sorry, I can't come. There's a time coming, Nikwe. Can you come? He said, oh, Bishop, my company is signing a contract in uh, Bubuashi. So, you know what? Never ever live life and take anything for granted. Victoria Brown, God bless you. 
Never ever live life and take anything for granted. No matter how mean, ungrateful, and selfish, and disrespectful you can be. Always remember from where life took you from. Remember what you were going through last year. Remember what you've been going through 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Had it not been for Nikwe. Had it not been for Grace. Grace, had it not been for your father here. Always live life and don't only look forward. Sometimes you got to look back. You know what I'm saying? Learn to be appreciative and be grateful for small things. And learn to be loyal. Learn to be faithful. And learn to be honest. Learn to be loyal. Learn to be faithful. And learn to be honest. Now, the prophet is dead. So, has a problem. In the past, if the prophet were there, he would go to the prophet. The prophet would prophesy to him and pray for him. You know how you can just go and say, Bishop, I had a dream. And sometimes the Lord will use me to go through your life so deep in the dream and you're taking it for granted. But if you had called Ghana, they would have told you to pay $5,000. And he's in Ghana, he would tell you to pay cities. He's telling you to pay dollars. And you too, you will pay. But because maybe I'm such a down to earth person, you took it for granted. And the next time you call, I'm in the White House, I cannot take calls there. Grace, read the Bible for me. First Samuel 28. Start from verse 2 or 3. Anywhere you go is good. Go ahead. First, first Samuel 28 verse 3. Mm -hmm. Now Samuel was dead. Samuel was dead. The prophet that had been talking and talking and talking. Now, he's, you know how the, your, teacher, your school teacher has stopped the job. Mm -hmm. You say your school teacher, you don't like him, you don't like him. He has been teaching you English. You, if it's not that school teacher, you hate her so bad. You, your English should have been worse. She, he, coming, coming, going, going. But now, your school teacher, he's not there. So whatever English you want, speak it. Go ahead. Now Saul is, Samuel is dead. The prophet Samuel is dead. Saul, now you are okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read. Now Samuel was dead. Mm -hmm. And all Israel had mourned, him for, mourned for him and buried him in his own town of Ramah. Mm -hmm. Saul had expelled the mediums and spirits from the land. Mm -hmm. The Philistines assembled and came and set up a camp at Shuham. Eh, when you can say, Obeti Bobo Le Bobo. Hey, now that the prophet died, mm -hmm. the enemies of Israel were coming. If Saul was alive, the prophet Samuel was alive, this is the way God will use him. But the prophet is gone. Your pastor is gone. Your mother is gone. You know how you used to insult your mother and treat your mother so bad? Now you look back and say, I wish my mother is alive. You know how the people that have been so good, have been so, such a blessing to you, you take them for granted and you treat them as if they are trash. You dishonor people. People who help you, when you don't need them anymore, you dishonor them. People who hold you and lift you a bishop. I used to be a nobody, a poor, wretched, dirty boy. I will never forget Nikwe. I will never forget Grace. Because at some point, the Lord brought them. When I couldn't have anybody to read the Bible, Grace came and Grace started reading. When the enemy thought, hey, I'm going to leave and nobody will be there to read the Bible. Nobody foresaw the little girl crawling into the studios. But God used them. Today, Bishop, as big as you can be, remember that little thing that little girl came to the studio to do for you. Because had it not been for her, who would have read the Bible for you? You remember the last time Nico read the Bible? It was trouble. Grace, start over again. First Samuel 28, verse 3. First Samuel 28, verse 3. Now Samuel was dead. And all Israel had mourned for him and buried him in his own town of Ramah. Saul had expelled the mediums and spirits from the land. Mm -hmm. The Philistines assembled and came and set up camp at Shunem. While Saul gathered all Israel and set up camp at Gilboa. When Saul saw the Philistine army, he was afraid. 
For the first time, King Saul was afraid because the prophet Samuel, who would have defended him and supported him, he didn't obey the prophet. The man is there. Go ahead. When Saul saw the Philistine army, he was afraid. Terror filled his heart. He inquired of the Lord, but the Lord did not answer him by dreams or urine. Grace, or because he's always disrespecting God. Why are you going to? You know how people misbehave? Mm -hmm. Misbehave and when things are not good, they say, I'm fasting. Yes. <laughs> I'm praying. You know what most of them, they do? they'll start playing gospel songs. Mm -hmm. They disrespect God. They dishonor God. And all of a sudden, when things don't go the way they want, they start playing gospel music. And there's a book on them. It won't work for you. It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that, sister. Mama, it doesn't work like that. Mama, it doesn't work like that. Now he's praying. He's fasting. But God wasn't answering. It's not because God doesn't answer uh, uh, prayers. But the character, the attitude of this man. God said, you think I'm a fool, right? Go ahead. Saul then said to his attendants, Find me a woman who is a medium, so I may go and inquire of her. There is one in Endor. Now he is going to see a witch doctor, Grace Parker. God bless you. Now a whole anointed, a whole anointed servant of God, a whole blessed anointed king of Israel, he is going to see a witch doctor, a palm reader, a palm reader, and a witch doctor, a native doctor, a fulani, a mumuni. Why? Because God's grace has been withdrawn. Are you taking the grace of God for granted? Maybe God said I should tell. Maybe you are the one I'm talking to. Maybe it's you. Time is ticking. Time is ticking because you have forgotten where. 10 years ago you were. You have forgotten where 15 years ago you were. You have forgotten the family you are coming from. You have forgotten where you used to be. The school you attended. You have forgotten. You are pretending as if now you are president. Hey. Hey. And now the fufu. And now the cutlery. And now the cutlery. And now the cutlery. Grace Max. God bless you. Go ahead. So Saul disguised himself, putting on other clothes, and at night he and two men went Nikwe, to the woman. This is like a, a man. Let, let me start with this. A man who has a beautiful wife. The wife is doing everything for him. And the man said, no, no, no. He be beating his wife and treating the woman so bad. Then the woman dies. But Everything, he lost everything too because all his man is gone. Now he has to go and look for some of the women by the roadside, but he can't go because people know him. So he has to wear nick and wear coolie high. <laughs> so went to the, the witch doctor with the coolie high because he was trying to play pretense. Oh, on the other side, this is a woman that is blessed to have a good husband. A woman, a husband she must appreciate and support. But she says it's not enough. And then the man dies so the man walks away. And now she has to go look for another boyfriend or another husband. And she has to go looking for young boys. So she has to wear mini skirt and, and wear a, a push-up brazier to hold her breast. Oh my God. Saul has fallen. King Saul has fallen. My dear, if you're watching, right? If you're on, God bless you. God bless you. If you're watching, right? Maybe somebody just said and you got this. Nothing in life is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Juliet Mensa, God bless you. Nothing in life is guaranteed. If you are blessed enough and you are enjoying the grace of God, mm -hmm. handle the grace of God with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. If you are blessed out of any reason, please, don't think you are smarter. You are faster. You are brighter. You are beautiful. You are great than anybody else. Don't do that. Don't feel that way. And never ever behave like that. Because there is always somebody that is better than you. 
There is always somebody that is better than you. Never ever live life and feel that, that you can never be replaced. Never ever live life and feel that you can never be replaced. Never ever live life and feel that you can never be replaced because I am beautiful than oh my god, shut up. Never ever live life and feel that beside you nobody can do what you do. Never ever live life and feel that nobody can do what you do because the Bible says, even if you don't worship God, He will call stones. To worship him, meaning that he can use anything. He said, Abba Dekta, God bless you. Pape be a joa, joa pape be. God bless you. God can always replace you. God can always bring somebody instead of you. God can always put somebody where you are. And so, where you are, please take that seriously. Honor God, respect God, that his grace will always be poured upon you. Grace, go ahead, hurry up. Consult a spirit for me, he said. He went to consult a spirit. Oh, oh, so. This anointed man. This man was so blessed. Now he has fallen. Do you know there are so many pastors who started so well. Now they are falling. People still go to them. But if you, if you want to know a pastor who was so powerful but now he has fallen. Listen to them. The Bible says out of the abundance of a heart, a mouth must speak. I don't care. No, I don't care. Me, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Let him who think he stand take heed lest he falls. The end is so general. What you hear? No, I'm just. Do all his figures. God bless you. Let him who think he stand take heed lest you fall. Grace, go ahead. And bring up for me the one I name. But the woman said to him, Surely you know what Saul has done. He has cut off the mediums and spirits from the land. He, he, the, the, so King saw this guy himself. Mm -hmm. He went to a witch doctor, a palm reader. And then he told the palm reader, please, I'm looking for a, a, a ghost. Can you bring the ghost? You know what ghost is looking for? The prophet who used to advise him and he ignored. The prophet who used to talk to him that he never took him seriously. Now that the prophet is dead, he is now going to look for his ghost. But while he was alive, you took him for granted. While he was alive, please, if you are alive today, whatever you can do to enjoy and to be blessed and to be great and to be favored and to be anointed and to be blessed, please don't take it for granted. Though nothing in life is permanent. Vicky Aziama, God bless you. Nothing in life is permanent. Nothing in life is permanent. Whoever you are, you are who you are by the grace of God. It's not because you are better. Not because you are smarter. Not because you are more beautiful. Because really the beautiful ones, they are not yet born. But whatever you have, the position, the title, the grace, the house, the life, anything you have, always remember, you have it by the grace of God. But do not take that grace for granted. Do not take that grace for granted. The fact that you sing in church doesn't mean you are secure to go to heaven. So many people are singing in church, they are thieves. So many people are singing in church, they are pretenders, fake Fake fraud 419. They will make it fast. So the fact that you're singing doesn't mean that the grace is there for you. Like I said, so many men of God I know, they started so well. They started so well. But you know what? They began to take the grace of God for granted. Today the grace is gone. They are only pretending. Grace, read on. Why have you set a trap for my life to bring about my death? Saul swore to her by the Lord, as surely as the Lord lives, you will not be punished for this. Then the woman asked, Whom shall I bring up for you? Bring up Samuel, he said. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out 
at the top of her voice and said to Saul, Why have you deceived me? You are Saul. The king said to her, Don't be afraid. What do you see? The woman said, I see a ghostly figure coming up out of the earth. What does he look like? He asked. An old man wearing a robe is coming up, she said. Then Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed down and prostrated himself with oh, his face to the ground. Why is it wasting his time bowing down to a ghost? When a man was alive, mm -hmm. you took him for granted. Yes. When a man was alive, you never loved him, you never respected him. Linda Pelu, God bless you. Now that his ghost has come, King Saul laid prostrate on the floor. Oh my dear, it's too late. Kato say, God bless you. Can I tell you something before I go? Mm -hmm. If you have any chance to be good, be good. Sometimes, by the time you realize, it will be too late. Too late. Now that the prophet Samuel was dead, now King Saul is going about looking for his ghost. But at that time, it was too late. Now that you have life, now that you have your chance, be, you, uh, you have your chance to be better. You have your chance to be pure. You've led a life of adultery. You've led a life of deception. You've led a life of pretenses. Now you're old. I'm old. You know what? Let's try to be better. Our children are watching. Our children are watching. The kids are watching. Are you living a life, an example that if people talk about you and your daughter or your son hears about it, they will be proud? Or you are living a legacy of curses and bondages for our children? Because of this, Saul died. When Saul died, his next of king, Jonathan, he also died. Another son of Saul also died. The only child that was left was Mephibosheth. He became crippled. The only child that was left for King Saul, his name and his generation, was only one boy. Even that boy, he, he became a crippled. Mephibosheth. Apostle Amo Bafo, Papa, I celebrate you and I say God bless you. And bless you. Please, today if you have any chance to be better, if you have any chance to be a good man, a good woman, don't wait. The whole, the whole world is waiting and watching you. Nanama, God bless you. I love you too. The whole world is watching you. There's a whole generation of people that are waiting for you. Imagine I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a football field. And I have a chance to score a penalty. If I score the penalty, my whole generation and my whole family, my children, children, children are going to be winners if I'm able to win. But while I'm standing on the field, instead of me to concentrate on the ball, my mind is on some alcohol that I'm waiting to go and drink. You know what? If I, if I miss the goal, that whole generation of people that are waiting for me, I'm going to disappoint them all. In the same way, you have a chance to do something better for your generation, for your children, for your children's children. So, thought about himself alone. He disappointed his children. He disappointed his grandchildren. And his name was eliminated. My sister, I love you. My brother, I do love you. I know that the Bible says we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But you know what? It is not too late to be better. By the time Saul realized it was too late, the prophet Samuel, by the time Saul realized it was too late because the prophet Samuel was dead. My dear, it is not late for you. And it's not late for me because I still have a chance to make it better. Can I tell you something? 
Go and make your family better. Go and make your children better. Go and do what to honor your children. Go and do what to honor your wife. Go and do what to honor your husband. Cindy, God bless you. Go and make it better. Go. Stop behaving as if life is all about sex. If you're a woman and you behave like that, you will become man's woman. If you behave as if life is all about sex, you are going to be man's woman. Meaning that today you are running around with Kojo. Tomorrow you are running around with Kwame. You are running around with Osei. You are running, oh my God. You become a shame and a disgrace for your children. Please. We have a chance. All of us have a chance. To honor and to celebrate the grace God has given us. Appreciate God. Let us appreciate God with our character. Where you are now, who you are now, it is by the grace of God. So please, respect God. Honor God. Dignify God. Let people know that, oh, Bishop Adon Timbwating, God has been very faithful to him. Why? If you look at where he was and where he has come. But you know I can lead a life that people will even laugh at my God. Daniel, do welcome. Do you know I can lead a life people can begin to insult and laugh at my God? Look at this man. He said he's a bishop. Look at this woman. She said she's a pastor. Look at this man. Oh my God. I pray that all the women as you go, go live better in your house. Don't let your lifestyle insult the God that made you a woman. Don't let your lifestyle insult God that made you a man. Don't let your lifestyle make you, don't let your lifestyle insult God that gave you a husband. So many women, they are a disgrace to their husband. So many, many women, their characters, their attitude, and the things they do behind the scenes, they are an insult and a shame and a disgrace to their husbands. A time is coming, you will look back, but it will be too late. I love you anyway. God bless you. This is Bishop Adon Timbuat. Elijah Bonnie, God bless you. Amen. Grace Sapon, God bless you, my daughter. Mama Lizzie, God bless you. God bless you. First lady, Ramadan Timbuati, God bless you. Hey, if you're watching, this is Bishop Kofi Adon Timbuati. You can follow me on face, on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. The name on Instagram is Bishop Adon Timbuati. Bishop Adon Timbuati. Please follow me on Instagram. I love you. I love you and I love you. I know you have enjoyed. Please share the video before you go. I love you, Papa. I love you, Pa. God bless you. Could you have quite a second? God bless you. If you're watching, I want to tell you something. I love you, right? I love you, child. I rabba Amy, sir. God bless you too. Benedict, I will go love you. If you're sleeping, it is already daytime. Please stop sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. Madam K. Timbo, God bless you. Love you back. Get through that crying. God bless you. Hey, mommy, say, well, God bless you. Esther Yebua, Linda Amwakusu. Yeah, 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 yeah
Madam Charity Bosso, God bless you. Sicily and Pia Boats, you love you back. You know God is faithful, right? Okay. Yay, yay, yay. In case you're confused, I am still Bishop. I don't tell you what hey. Erica Asarenya, my daughter, I love you back. Tell your children or your husband your daddy loves them. Marisa Striggles, I cannot wait to say good night to you. I will not say God bless you too. In case you didn't hear me well, I just said I love you. Oh, for you, Adam, God bless you. Love you more. Linda Mwakumu, since you just came from Ghana, you are in Virginia. I want Nikwe to bring you food. Please, what food do you want? Just tell us here. I will get Nikwe to bring you the food. Please, Linda, we're waiting for you. Every we know we told you today, don't don't waste chances. Let us hear now. I want to go, please. Na 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 na. Linda Mwakuzu, we're just waiting for you, please. Molinesa, God bless you. I will share the same message on the prayer line. You haven't heard it all. There is many more. I like that, Marisa Striggles. Marisa Striggles, you know one reason why? I love you dearly. You are honest. You tell it as it is. You are not. You are not perfect. And you don't have it all together, but you are still struggling. Nuke <laughs> Linda Mwakumuzu says she wants pizza and chicken. Please, Linda. The the pizza in America. We have mushroom pizza. Pepperoni, we have combo, uh, Grace and Adem. All right, so please, Lena Mwakuzu, Nikwe is bringing you pizza and chicken, but please let us know what you want. Nikwe, she's been a faithful and a very good person that she's followed the ministry. She just came to America, she just she wants. American pizza and chicken, chicken wings, not the legs. Remember that. And I we are waiting for you. My time is up. I gotta go. What type of pizza do you want?
Uh, Nico, it looks like we have to get pepperoni and mushroom for her. Large size. Marisa Striggles, God bless you. But one thing I just want to tell you, there's no human that is living that is perfect. You know one thing. But as you grow every day, you try to make today better than yesterday. That is the most important thing. No human being can ever claim perfection. But you know what? Everybody expects who Grace used to be two years ago. She will not be the same person. If Grace is not growing and she's still living the same lifestyle she led, uh oh, <laughs> she put the address here. Please, can you delete your address because uh, we will call you. I have your number, I'll call you. And you could please, can you delete your address right now, please? Uh, can you delete your address right now, please? Delete it, and then we would um, we'll call you, and then you could bring. Okay, 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 okay. I'll delete it for you. Yeah, they say I can delete it, so let me delete your address from there. Before. Obroni, <laughs> yeah. Pow! My time is out, Linda. Yeah, thank you. All right, Linda, God bless you. We'll get back to you. Nikwe is bringing you uh, a large size pepperoni pizza and mushroom. And then two bo three boxes of chicken. And then please, if you want any drink, let us know. Because you came from Ghana and you are a faithful part of us, we see you as a family. Please, what drink do you want us to bring you? Nikwe is ready, please. Uh, Linda, I'm Wakusu from Ghana. What drink do you want? Uh, it's, it's still showing. I thought I deleted it from here. Linda, please, can you tell us what drink? Nikwe is coming. It's still showing? It's not there. Okay, okay, okay. If it's there, because once you refresh your thing to go away. All right, please, Linda, what drink do you want? Since you have come from all the way from Africa, you are in America. Nikwe and you are in Alexandra. It's on the way to church, right? Somewhere. Okay. Uh, I want to go and bless her. She wants ginger ale. All right, so we bring you a ginger ale. We bring you Snapple. And then two boxes of um, large size. Because if you don't have anybody, coffee would come and chop with you. We bring you two large sizes of uh, pepperoni and mushroom pizza and three boxes of chicken. And then, um, and no, the, the pizza is around the new church. So you just get it from there. We, and tell them we want a hot. Because she just came from Africa, the food must be hot. If it's not hot, it's not fair. All right. So please, I'll end it here tomorrow. I'll be here. Linda Mwakus, welcome to America. Your drink is ginger ale, uh, pepperoni pizza, mushroom pizza, large size, two, three boxes of chicken. No mercy for any. Uh, <laughs> God bless you if you're watching. I love you. God bless you. Hey, God bless you. We'll be here tomorrow to be with you. God bless you. We really celebrate today. Grace upon God bless you. Nikwe. God bless you too. God bless you. Lena Marcos, welcome to America. God bless you once again. Good night. God bless you. We love you. I, oh, I love you. All right, good night. Bless you. I miss you. It's your nigga, Jenny, I'm Sida. I'm referring to you. And so damn it, my yanni said, Me ran fi papa why I'm here. And see any catch and yas it all. I refrain when you pump. I dear bark on a miss ran is me ran fi papa why I'm here. That's a me pum 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 kosha me chi. Baby I'm a friend, baby I'm a di. But therefore, why now back to me on your way? That's a me so 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 sissy. Stand by and take account. Or therefore. Wait, yeah, it had to be you. That's right. I said, me boom, 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 shame at she. Baby, I'm a friend, and baby, I'm a dee. But therefore, why now, back to me, I'm your way. I said, me so, 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 Stand by and take account. Or therefore, wait, yeah, it had to be you. And see, the money, oh.